let me kind of show y'all where we are on Project OBS. We got the engine installed, so pumped. We got the truck under its own weight. We got a bunch of parts painted, making a lot more progress, a lot quicker on this build because we kind of have a little more direction. We've done a few of these. We got them under our belt. Chase and I are both just getting a lot of work done. I'm gonna show you this cross member and these motor mounts because that made a big difference on how easy this was. These are the Dirty Dingo adjustable motor mounts and this is their cross member. It is fully bolted in. It's got two, a bracket that bolts in the frame there and then it bolts to that bracket and then all of the mount is adjustable up and down and front to back. Super nice, which let us use our factory OBS drive shaft. So that's money saved that we didn't have to spend on a drive shaft. We've got it in there very nicely. Chase got all the inner fenders painted up. He got the core support painted up, painting more parts right here, our bracket, starter, water pump, tensioner. The engine looks really nice in here. It fit really well. I mean, we've got clearance for everything we need. Even back here on the firewall with the engine slid back far enough, we got plenty of clearance. And then of course there's the stance. It looks good. I feel like the back might be a little high, but we got the bed to put on still. Hopefully the bed and the gas tank will level it out a little bit more. But if not, we can do two inch shackles in the back. There's adjustments on the two inch shackles, so you can do one inch or two inch, so we could balance it out there pretty easily. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Today's project for me is fuel pump came in, gonna get the fuel pump swapped, and then we're gonna try to do some finagling with the LS truck fuel lines and the OBS truck fuel lines and see if we can make them join up. If videos had smell, even though I'm kind of stuffed up, that is pure turpentine in there. I mean, that is almost whiskey. Some kind, we can call that gas tank mash. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I gotta get this tank drained out. I'm gonna get this cleaned up because it has some surface rust on it from condensation. East Texas is very humid and when these vehicles sit for a long time, they develop condensation in these tanks. So we're gonna clean the tank out, clean the sending unit up and get the fuel pump swapped on it. So we can clean the tank up one more time get a fresh coat of paint on it and get it back in the truck. So Russell had to go find some uh, OBS fuel lines because I saw him, he would grab the fuel lines and I saw him over here in the toolbox and he had some cutters and he cut really close to the end. I was like, he wasn't even thinking, he was just doing it. He was just cut and I was like, I don't know if he should have done that. And then all of a sudden I, I just kept painting and I heard Russell go, Dang it! I was like, you cut too short, didn't you? Or you did you weren't supposed to cut that. And he was like, yep. <laughs> so now he's going to run to a couple places where he might can find some OBS uh, fuel lines because he cut it too short and he has nowhere to attach it to because we're running all factory fuel lines. Just a couple AN fittings to attach everything, make it all nice and neat, but he screwed up. <laughs> Are you back? Yeah. Yeah. Problem solved. Problem solved. But see, when I make mistakes, I fix my mistakes. What are you saying? I'm saying I'm being accountable. <laughs> He's saying I probably don't fix my mistakes. I was just I'm, being accountable. I'm fixing my mistakes right yeah, now. Yeah, you are, and you're gonna you learned a valuable lesson, as I did I. Oh uh, yeah, I don't cut too quick. Yeah, I was just in my own mental, just snip, snip, snip. Let's get this done. I saw him. I saw him doing it. All right, I'm fixing my mistake, and I think I'm almost done. I think I'm almost done. I think this is pretty smooth. I don't know. Let's see, right there. I've still got to hit it some more. That's going to show up for sure. You cutting them? Yeah. Are you sure you're giving up? Oh, that was the wrong, the wrong side, Russell. No, not this time. <laughs> not this time, because I know I need that dang female in. This yeah. is trash. And I got the little bracket to mount it to the frame again. All right, sanded this piece. Hopefully it's gonna be smooth now. Sanded it, wax and grease removed it. 
Now I'm gonna spray paint it again and hopefully it'll be as smooth as the other side and hopefully not a lot smoother. Moment of truth. It didn't work. Unfortunately, I didn't sand the fender good enough. Thought I did, Russell thought I did, he thought I was gonna be good, but I'm still seeing some roughness in it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Kinda see right here, it is still showing up. But I think that's gonna be as good as it gets because I'm not sanding this thing again. I mean, it's gonna be hidden up underneath there. This one looks really good, but unfortunately, it didn't turn out like we thought. Here's Russell now. Let's see what his thoughts are on this. Jeremy? <laughs> What'd you leave in there? My keys. <laughs> you just locked your keys in your truck? Yeah. I got that on camera. Look at my fender. <laughs> no, right? That's what I said. It's reacting. That's that thing crinkling up. Yeah. It's just gonna be like that. We're still cleaning up parts and painting for the tenth day in a row. Feels like I've been painting everything. Just constantly finding more stuff to paint, and make it look better, and sanding it. And it's just a whole bunch of stuff. But that's what we're doing today. Super exciting work. Especially that wiring over there. I wish I was trading places with Russell. You know, I wish I could rather be doing that wiring. <laughs> no, this is just going to be all of our gauges and our air conditioner and our power behind our dash. Yeah. All that good stuff. That's all I'm really trying to do. Get, and it's going to clean up this whole section. Like, all the, most of these wires are going to be gone. So it's going to make it look nicer. Less is better, right? Here is the paint that I've been using on all of our parts, pieces, engine, everything like that. So I've been using this on the engine and anything that's going to get hot. But now we're painting some plastic. We're painting this gas, gas tank cover. It's a plastic piece. I've already sanded it with uh, 320 and then wiped it off with wax and grease remover. I went to Walmart and got some of this two times Rust-Oleum paint plus primer, but it says it bonds to plastic, wood, metal, and more. We're gonna try this out. I've been using the Fusion from Krylon, but I spent we going with all Rust-Oleum and Dupacolor engine paint. So we're just gonna stick with the Rust-Oleum. Try this out on this plastic piece. So we're gonna do that now. pretty nicely how's it coming for you it's coming I've, all this is figured over here I just got a little bit left over here my AC stuff is separated I just don't have a break in the line to get it out yet I just got to get this plug worked out I got to figure out what I need on this plug and what I don't because these are the two computer plug-ins so. what what is this plug do it's transferring signal inside the truck to the modules, like uh, AC controls. No, no, the AC control all plugs in on this one, right here. Okay. That plugs in the cab for the AC controls. Um, this is all of the factory fuel pump relay and fuse and signals. This is my old pressure sending unit. This is. What is this? You got a label, that's nice. Uh, it's from the trans plug. It was just one I cut. I wasn't sure gotcha. if I could use it for something else. This is my ignition coil, but this will be a good key on hot for under the hood somewhere if we need a key on hot. Okay. Um, then the alternator right here, starter, and then main power to internal fuses. And then this is all my AC plugs right here. 
So the rest of this, I'm just going through and identifying and cutting it out as I go. And then I'll have a couple things to put back together, some grounds and some, you got it whooped, some man. signals that like, cause the signals will go to the computer and then the computer send the signal to the fuel pump. So I'll have to reconnect over here. Like the computer's not there. Mm. Yeah. You got it whooped. I'm whooping it slowly but surely. <laughs> All right. This thing will be cranking today. Yeah. Russell's is going to have that done. We're going to be cranking this engine and driving it down the street today. I promise. Russell turned around and looked. He's like, I thought you were painting the gas tank. Yeah, I forgot about it. So now I gotta paint the gas tank. Here it is before. Before. And watch this, Russell. Watch this, it's gonna be magic. We're gonna paint it like that. Are you getting it, getting it tackled? Figuring it yeah, out? Yeah, I'm just diagnosing the wires for the, I really think it is a bad switch on the wipers. That's what I was thinking. This thing's kind of loose, so, kind of janky. And then I, I had, I'm just checking some wires that I cut out of the system. I found two out there that had power going to them, so I need to make sure I either use those for something or make sure they're covered up good so they do not yeah. short anything out in the future. That wouldn't be good. Yeah. All right, I got some bolts. I got to find some bolts for all my front end accessories, all this stuff. I can start bolting this stuff on the motor, but now I've got to start track down all these bolts. I don't know where the hell they're at. They're somewhere. They're somewhere, Russell. Welcome to my hell. <laughs> I didn't take none of this stuff apart, and I'm trying to put it back together. That's the way it goes, though, isn't it, Russell? Always, because he loves taking it apart. You, what do they say? Real. My headlights. And then when you told me they were tiny, I said like seven millimeters. You're like, no, smaller. Well, that's not a seven millimeter. It's like screw heads. That's a Torx. Those are not for that either, buddy. Those are coarse thread. It'd be my These. Nope, those ain't for that either. They might have got left in the course report. It's probably what I would have done with them. And then when my buddy took everything apart to paint it, he threw them in a pile somewhere. What's all over there on the floor with all that course support shit that's been laying there for a week? Exactly. Exactly. My God, I want to beat you with your painted parts. I found them. I found them, Russell. <laughs> so this bag has got Russell's handwriting on it, and this floor pull of parts has got Chase's M.O. all over it. Oh, uh, hey, I found my bolts. Don't you love being wrong? I found the bolts that I've been missing. That you've been blaming me for. I ain't time. blaming nothing. I just said I lost one bolt, and I think it was over here, and now I found the rest of the bolts that I need to paint and need to use. Russell found them, actually. I didn't find I have magically transformed that pile of wires into about 10 wires under here. And then of these, we're only using, only three of them matter. The rest of them are bonus wires that I can use for something else. So I am happy. The AC controls come on. The ignition comes on. When I hit the key, I get power to my starter wire. The radio comes on. The only thing that's not working is the wiper motor. And I think it's a bad switch on the column because somebody's been in there jacking with it. But maybe another 30 or 45 minutes and I'll have these done enough to carry on to the next step. Because I don't want to put loom on them yet in case I got to add wires for the LS harness. I can add them in and then loom it all at one time. Sure. All right, now the gas tank is going on. We've got it assembled. Got the cover on it. We've got our uh, brackets. And now we're lifting it up. We're going to put the gas tank on it. Russell's got all the wires ran right here. Are you ready? I'm on the wire first. Is someone here? Where? I hear something. I thought I heard the door open. Oh, the mailman is here. What's up, man? It's the mailman. We got a shipment from Monkey Fab.
Let me tell you about one of our sponsors, monkeyfabgarage.com. If you need anything from AN lines and fittings, turbos, V-bands, wiring, and electrical, monkeyfabgarage.com has it, plus much more. The guys at monkeyfabgarage.com have been with us from the beginning, and when we've needed parts quick, they've had us covered. You know how it goes when you're working on your ride, you think you got everything figured out and you're always one fitting short. The guys at Monkey Fab are here to help with expert knowledge, the parts you need, and quick shipping. So if you're ready to give your ride a boost, head on over to monkeyfabgarage.com. And don't forget to use code JOURNEYHQ for 10% off your next order. Now, lived out in a one room shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. What? What? I was just singing about my, how I got my name. You know, I might have been born just plain white trash, but fancy was my name. Fancy? Fancy. Behind you. Behind you. Whammo. Tail lights. Fuel pump. Now we can put the tank in. All right. And it's gonna go in those holes right there. And then I've got a. Oh yeah, I can get to it. What? Okay. Do you see why I wanted you to get a short one? Yeah. You think a short one's gonna fit, or we're gonna need something different? Oh, I'm asking easy. you, buddy. You're looking at it. You're gonna be the man doing it. I'm gonna be man doing it. What do I do with it? Oh, it's over here. Get it. Get it. Got it? Where are the nuts? In my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I got it. I got, got it. it. Got it. I need you to come get this other strap right quick. Oh, yeah. Too smooth. Watch the motor not work. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that impact. Easy first. <coughs> That's how they break. You break them. I break them. <coughs> you do break them. You broke them too. You broke two spray paint cans. Put your tools up while you're at it. What'd you do with mine that was on there? I put them up. No, you didn't. That was a soft fur. You sure you didn't put them up in your tool box? Oh, there's your tool box. Where? Where what? Your wobble's here, your extension's here. Where's the 15 that was on there? That was mine. No, it wasn't. That cobalt? You were just using a 13, and I had a 15 to tighten that gas tank. Right here, look, look. I didn't use it. Look, you set it right there, and you swapped that out. Hold on, did you grab it again? Uh, I swear I put that stuff back. You put the stuff back from when you initially put the tank in, and then I realized that hose was stuck between the frame and came back over here and got stuff. And then I handed you the impact with that stuff on there, and you set my shit down on the lift and put your shit on there, tightened your bolts and put your shit up. And then my shit was left out, and you were trying to say you put it up. Well, I did do it No. I don't know what day this is, but we're just gonna keep working on this truck. 
I'm gonna kind of show you where we are. I'm not even sure what I've showed you that I've done, but I'll show you what we've got done and what the next step is for sure in this process. We've got all of the accessories minus the power steering pump installed, our water pump, and we've got our dirty Dingo AC compressor mount installed, which is my first time using this product. Super cool though, because what it allows you to do is keep the factory pancake compressor and hopefully we'll be able to use all of our factory AC lines, our factory wiring for the AC harness and everything and just makes it all a simpler process. I've got the intake mocked up on here. We're still waiting on knock sensors to come in so that's why it's just mocked up right now but I'm gonna go ahead and start running my LS harness. For the rest of the day today, I'm probably gonna be doing more wiring which is my favorite thing to do. Chase is gonna be down here in a minute. I don't know what he's gonna work on, but we're gonna just keep moving forward on this truck. This is our LS harness, and this is how it comes from our guy, Josh, who we love. He makes these harnesses, he tunes our computers, he answers all of my stupid questions because I don't know how to do half of this stuff sometimes. I just kind of am winging it, and he is there to save me most of the time. Look at that. That's nice. I think that's gonna work out perfectly. I think we got plenty of distance on that. My first step is gonna be trying to get all of this through the firewall. And I think I'm gonna have to start with this end and come out because this stuff ain't gonna fit through that hole. So what's really gonna suck here, I need to come through the top of this glove box and then go down and out because my computer needs to sit up here on top and all of this stuff goes to the computer and it won't fit through that hole. So I gotta get all of this down through there. None of these are labeled either, but the fortunate thing about most of this new stuff, which that one's labeled, but most of this new stuff, they'll only plug into one spot. There's not two plugs alike on these newer vehicles most of the time. Now I do know what that plug is. That's for my transmission. And then all of this has still got to fit right here, <laughs> but I think I can separate this section of the harness and I can probably get my fuses over here or maybe even down a little lower because this piece goes back in there and covers all of this up. So I think we're gonna be okay. So now that I've got this ran through the top, I'm gonna get down there on my hands and knees and beg it to go through the firewall. Where's my partner in crime at? Almost, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, the cameraman helped. Look at there, that's nice. And then 90% of this is going right there. And then we got our factory. This is what was in the firewall that all the wires ran through. I cleaned all the nasty hot glue stuff out of there and it comes apart. So I'll be able to put it back on here and have all these wires coming out just like, just like GM intended. I mean, we're kind of keeping it at the heart of GM. It's GM, GM. Cause this truck's a GMC though, isn't it? No, it's a Chevy. I know, I know it's a GMC, I'm sorry. You're doing a good job, Russell. Am I? I just broke it. Did you really? <laughs> when I unplugged it, this piece came with it. It's supposed to keep the pins lined up. Yeah, my glove box wouldn't fit. Oh, so. it won't? No, I gotta get this piece out of here. And what piece? This bracket for the factory computer. Oh, take it out? That's what get it out of here means. <laughs> Did a little turny? Did a little turny. Let's check one more time since I got them plugs on there. Oh yeah. So the problem was we couldn't get the glove box inside to fit, but I pulled the factory computer bracket out and then turned the computer this way so that my plugs are facing towards the AC vents and the computer slid up there. Made these little brackets right here to hold my fuse box and my relays for the LS harness. And then I've got my signal wires heading across to dash so all the wiring is tucked away nicely. It looks good. I like it. It's a pain in the butt, but it makes me happy when it works out. As it long as good. 
cranks. Probably won't crank. I got the spark plugs changed. <laughs> Russell, it's too cold this morning. Nah. It's freezing, dude. It's pretty chilly. We got the heater going pretty over chilly. here. Yeah, so it is going to be loud in the background. It will be a little bit loud, but it'll be all right. I'm not turning that heater off. No. <laughs> it's freezing, no. dude. So what you getting done? You getting making some tabs for our fan trail? Yeah, I'm gonna do some weld ons on top and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do on bottom. Look at this, look at this lean. <laughs> all right, you got three. Yeah. That's all Which you need, right? For those, now and I then cut these. I'll cut these and I'm gonna give you a new task. I, like, I like cutting them. No, you wanna paint everything, take everything apart, do some work. Well, You're gonna I... make all these the exact same size. Oh, okay, that's easy. No all questions right. either. I, you've watched enough. You should know what you should and shouldn't be doing. So no questions. This is like a test. Like your teacher, you don't get to look at your book. You can't pull your phone out. You don't have your calculator watch. I got my iPhone. No. But I didn't do too good in school, but I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> Making a much more drastic step up out of them because they were a little low. So that way they rise up a little higher and keep the fans off of the radiator. See how much it pushes up on it oh, now. Oh yeah, that's good. So it'll get riveted in here or bolted in here. And that leaves us plenty of room for a bolt or a thread setter or whatever we need to put inside there. All right, cool, I like it. I've got my pieces almost done. All my pieces are pretty close except that middle one. <laughs> so I just got to trim a little bit on this second one and then we'll be done. They'll be good to go. We can take it over to Jake, get Jake to weld it. We put the radiator in today. The lid on. I got to trim a little bit off so I'm trying the to make it The lid on so it works. To where I know. Then you'll be like, we ain't got no markers. I didn't put the lid on the marker. You know why we ain't got no markers? None of them work. Back to what I was saying <laughs> is that I'm trying to get all these three to the exact same size to make the boss happy over there. Got to make the boss happy. So I'm going to try to make a little line. We'll take that much off. Put the lid back on. You see that? The lid is back on. Russell. Pretty good, I just need the DA. Waiting on Russell like always, you know? Will you come over here and put your hands on your hips for like an old person? Like I need that tool. Oh, do you? <laughs> oh. Here you go. You done? Wow. All right, they're all the same. Cool. All right, so we got our... My over-engineered mounts? No, they're not over-engineered. They're just perfect, Russell. I'm tired of you. <laughs> I do like them, though. We got them riveted in. Yes. They're all secure, and now we're going to be making the ones for the front where we can weld them in. We're going to go ahead and tap the piece of metal, mark the holes, and then I'll take it over to the welding shop. Yep, because we've got Actually, our other brackets shop. made for mounting on the sides to mount it to the core support. They're all pre-made already. So we get these drilled and tapped. We'll do one more quick test fit so I can look at the trans cooler, and then you can take off with it. Cool. Hey, do y'all want to win this truck that you see behind me? You want to know all the stuff that we've done to it so far? We've got a ton more stuff that's coming every day in the mail that we're adding on to this truck. So if you want to win this truck, head on over to our merch store. And for every dollar you spend on our website, you get an entry into the drawing. And that drawing is for $100,000 cash prize but you can take home this truck 
paying 70,000 cash. So get on over to our website and pick yourself out some merch. Got our radiator back. It turned out awesome. And then this is happening in the background. Been working on my Civic. I've already tore this thing apart and put it back together. God, dog. Check out this radiator. Jake Barnett, jam up job on these tabs. The welds look awesome. He does a lot of the... Uh, they look awesome. He does a lot of the mud motor stuff. Oh, he's a mud motor guy. He does alu aluminum bows, look, customizing them. This turned out good. The next step really is gonna be getting it mounted here in the truck. I gotta drill a couple holes. Our thread setters are supposed to be here this afternoon so I can get them installed for now. Just put a nut and bolt on it. We'll get this sucker in there and keep moving forward on this project. Old bullshit. What I call project. Old bullshit. Just cleaning it up. It's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. Someone's gotta do it, you know? <laughs> call me micro. Tiny? Is he small? Micro. Yeah. Micro. <laughs> yeah. Got the intake cleaned up. Intake's put on. Russell got the fan installed. Oh, he gave me credit. I got the fan installed. I worked real hard. I put all these thread setters in here, cut this rubber, did all this work to get this fan in here. And now it looks good. Show them on camera, Wes, what I did. You did an awesome job, dude. It looks like, I mean, I know guys out there can do better, but yeah, it looks like you've been working at a custom shop. For I a even long time. welded all these tabs on. Woo! Ooh. Careful, don't step in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chase, your first uh, duty after you clean that is you're going to be working on these fuel lines. Okay. I'm just director today. I can't do a lot of work with my leech. Do you have another beanie anywhere? I forgot hers at home. Don't. Not that she'll keep it on. Got a little, get a little spit on it. Oh, shit. This is uh, not wanting to work, Russell. I'm gonna put a little grease on the fitting because it did not want to go on the first time. Back. Please go. See my homemade beanie for her because I forgot her hat at home. So we've got to keep her ears a little warm because she's been under the weather. You done yet? It's like a... Well, you're almost there. Get almost. it there. Don't quit. No. Don't quit. I'm pushing. Push it real good. All right. We fed the... Or I fed the line. Ooh, now it's I. Yeah, 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 buddy. I did that. Fed the line up there to where it's going to go into the back of the intake. And this is our, Russell already marked it for our halfway point and I just taped it to our AN fitting. Hopefully we've got enough line to where we can just cut it in half and we'll have exactly enough, like I said. Oh yeah. We got a lot. All right, well then make up uh, this these top ones. Go ahead and cut the hose in half. Yeah. And go ahead and make up your top ones and feed them down. And then we'll make up those ends down there where we can cut off exactly enough. You know what I'm saying? We'll leave a little extra. Yeah, we'll leave. I'd like to have some extra so you yeah. got room to kind of move it around. I saw this little hack on social media that if you are trying to put your AN fittings on, because they're always a pain in the butt, you know, trying to get it on there and make it work. If you get the right size socket for your AN fitting and you make sure your drill is in reverse, your impact is in reverse, if you do, you make sure it's on there, it's inside, and just go in reverse. And it's bottomed out. That worked. That is pretty good. I like that. It's a good hack. Social media is good for something. We've got the routing for our fuel lines. We're going to use this bracket right here that's on the side of the transmission. We'll make a bracket to hold everything. Then I've got my fuel lines that's coming off the intake marked so I can cut them. I tightened it up already up there, so now I've got to cut it down here and put my fittings on, but it's no big deal. I've got plenty of room to work. So we're going to do that now. We're going to cut these, put the ends on them, and then attach them. And then we'll start working on brackets. You could show everybody what we got for the truck. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, because that was in... I couldn't even hardly talk. <laughs> wet. wet, that's how I was, wasn't it? I pulled a muscle like right here in my back and I was like... That's from all that bending over. <laughs> It was from working out, I pulled a muscle. We were doing like a pull behind. I work out. Oh, look at But anyways, I did pick up some wheels. Got a good deal on them. But now I don't know if we're gonna keep them for this or we're gonna keep them for, we're gonna put them on all Mac. It just depends. There's just one factor that comes into this. And you can't say. I'm not gonna say what it is, but got a set of US mags, 20s in the front and a set of 22s in the back. And look, these are pretty wide. What is that, like 10 and a half? That's like 14. It's not 14, it's like a 10 and a half. They look really good, got a nice size lip on them. They kind of look like the Weld Lagunas, but they're the US Mags, whatever they are. What are they? I don't know what these are called. US Mags. US Mags? I don't know what the name of this really is, let's look. US Mag, here we are. Yeah, they're just called the C10. Well, that's cool. That is a C10 wheel from US Mag. Well, you should put it on old Mac then. Yep. I thought you were gonna stick them on there anyway, just for fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that now. Pull <laughs> it right there, do it right there. Or do it right up there. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> okay. Uh. We've got another deal working that we're trying to get going with a different uh, wheel company and hopefully that's going to follow through at some time but I think these are going to look a lot better than what's on there so we're going to put these on there right now and see how they look. I have to say, it looks better than it did, but they're not just blowing me away. It's not like the most, you know, it didn't change it crazy. What do you think, Russell? I mean, they're I, not what we want. I definitely like them better than those ugly wheels that have been on Omega. Yes. For those of you who are like, oh, these guys got bad taste. No, those were cheap on Marketplace. They were 700, 700 bucks. bucks, or did we get them for six? Got them so, for a steal. They look better than that, but they're not just like, oh my God. Yeah. Ooh, look at them. I mean, they're cool. They are cool. They're a lot cooler than what was on there. But I've had cooler. So we might be running today. We got a battery. We got oil. We got oil filter. We don't have any fuel, but that's right down the street. So maybe today, maybe tomorrow. What is today? Thursday. Fudge sickles. It won't be tomorrow for me. Chase is working on the Pepto. Princess. Yeah, they call them a Honda Civic pink. So what I'm doing is trying is... to wash it so it'll be pinker. Yeah, I want to make it a little <laughs> <Sorry>. more pink. <laughs> I won't talk no more. No, nah, what I'm doing is I'm clay barring it. Got some, uh, uh, just trying to get all the contaminants off of it so I can polish this thing. Went ahead and ordered uh, microfiber polishing pads and some of this. Some Boss fast, fast Correcting Cream, and we're gonna see if we can bring the shine back to this dull paint. So the first thing I gotta do is clay bar it, wash it in clay bar it. That's what I'm doing today. Got new headlights, tail lights for it. Just gonna clean it up because the tail lights are leaking. Just trying to make this thing a little bit nicer.
All right, now we're done. Whew. My head's hot, this beanie's hot. That wire I just ran outside. Yes, sir. It needs to, uh, we gotta hook it up. To the distribution block? Yes, sir. Can you go ahead and plug it in? No, we're, we'll go ahead and run it over there where it needs, how it needs to run, following the other wires coming out of the firewall. Is it gonna work? Uh, let me. If it's not gonna work nicely, just hook it up and I'll. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it and then I'll kinda. <coughs> there. Well, the update is it's not getting power to somewhere. So no cranky. And we ain't got gas, we don't have power. So Russell's chasing down wiring problems. He figured it out. I just had to call the smartest man I know when it comes to this stuff. And he told me what an idiot I am. And now oh, we've got wow. it figured out. We were grounding power. power wires. So that didn't work. They don't get any power when you do it like that. Mm -hmm. Alex is trying to sell us his car. He's trying to sell you that car. I'm oh, no. poor. <laughs> hey, man, that's hey, I, he's trying to, I like your car, Alvin. And if I had some money, I'd buy it because I like blades. It's been, I put some Vogues on them and ride. Boy, Ha, 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 ha.